um, this is my second video, hello YouTube. Um, right, in this one I'm going to quickly show Adobe Premiere. Um, it's quite a big program, the new one, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CS3. Um, obviously, you know, they upgrade everyone and it's always got other new little features in it. Um, this one has um, incorporated Adobe Encore um, into it. Uh, Encore was just uh, one just to do with sound. So if you put a clip in of sound, uh, you can kind of use, uh, you know, the st uh, stuff that you did with um, Adobe Encore. See, like settings like this, as you can see here. Uh, and this is the audio mixer where you can change settings for um, mix stuff. Basically, it's just encore, just there in that little box for um, you know for the audio. Um, as you can see, you know it looks a bit jam um, jam packed, kind of like 3D programs, but it's pretty simple to use. So if I want to import something, you go File Import, um, then just choose where your directory is of the video. Um, I'm probably just going to choose my Wacom video, which was my first one, which was quite massive in size. But anyway, so I've imported that there, as you can see in my project. It's right there, the video. What I'll do is all you do simply drag it into the video line. Say, say you want it on video one, so you put it there. Right. Now you've got your video on the line, as you can hopefully see it's starting to play up there. So you can no, you can see it's moving there. So you can move it along. Say you want it there. So um, there. So you, you can see your video um, in that box. Basically, what I'm going to do is just some simple things like you can change the volume to bypass and stuff like that. A bit it's not really that needed. Um, some things in here like anti-flicker filter. See so if you got a lot of flicker in on it. You can scale it, to, uh, scale the video. Um, you know, you can change your opacity, you can change the speed, etc. Um, what you can do is, um, what I would say is unlink, which means you can get rid of the video and um, the audio. So now, so you can move one and the other. It's quite handy if you want to cut chunks out of the audio that you don't need. Um, or you know, if you want to just get rid of the audio altogether, and you know, just press delete, and you want your own song over it, you know, MP3. Anyway, so you can do that. Um, simple. Here's your tools down at the bottom right. Um, I'm just gonna say, if you go to the start of the clip, or, or this is your um, the zooming in. So that's real zoomed out. You can zoom in. Um, so you can see little parts. It's easier if you're doing it by the millisecond, you know, trying to cut down the clip. Anyway, so I'm just going to show it quite high up. So this is all you do is just go to the um, end of the song, um, end of the audio, or end of the video, in fact, and you'll see that little icon. You can move it. Say you want uh, to cut the last 20 seconds off, so you find that, or some, and then just do that and then you've cut that off. So you want to cut that off at the video, you do it. And what you would do is quite handy is if you go there it automatically like lock into fitting it with the la with the audio down below, which is quite handy. So you know you won't get the video one second over the audio or a couple of seconds after, which is quite nice. Um as well you can um you can change the volume pitch on the video if you can see this. Um Hopefully you can. It's this yellow line um, on the uh, the track or the video, and this is the volume or the opacity um, on the vol uh, on the audio. It's obviously the opacity. You can s you can change it like this one. So you can say position, and you just oh Christ, where's this? Get the yellow line. Well, that's not that's being really silly now. But this is volume, as you can see, dB meaning decibels. And you can just change it. So if you've got a really, you know, the low track, you can just m put it to the top. Um, another little thing that's quite cool. Um, well, they're scaling now. Right. So that's if I put that to the bottom. No. Oh, I don't. I don't really know that feature. I'll just recommend won't use it because you don't really need it for what you're doing. Anyway, hopefully I ain't lost my video. Oh. Anyway, I'll just delete the. The video, right? I'll just concentrate on the sound. 
so uh zoom out right so you can see the whole sound clip and it's uh that long really so it finishes there so um as you can see with the little timer bar thing you can see where you are in the audio so say that i don't know maybe you want to cut something up out of the audio and have it at the back of the audio and you're thinking how oh, can i do that well, it's quite simple you go to the second of the clip so you might have to zoom in to find that pos where exactly it starts um then you go to the bottom right and you will find here that uh little logo it looks with uh, like a razor it's called the razor tool okay so what you do is just go to the line and you see it changes from that to with the little red mark to the one it's be able to cut so it cuts there right now it's into two clips so say you want so you go on to where the clip ends say it ends there then you do the clip again the the rate using the razor tool and you click so now it's three um little clips so say you want to get rid of that or move it onto another layer maybe you want it overlapping one of um you want it overlapping them you know or something like that or you know uh i don't know maybe you want to um you right click go to speed duration you can change the speed so you can i don't know maybe make it longer making it longer um usually distorts the sound so it'd be like really um quite um low pitched and it'll be deeper you know so what you can do is just change the duration say you want it a bit longer or you want it short you want it shorter or whatever so then you do and then you do maintain audio pitch and what that would do it will keep the pitch that it will keep the audio that you're talking so if you're saying hello my name is whatever it will keep that exactly to your tone so um it doesn't change the tone which is quite handy if you want to make it longer but keep the same tone um if you don't you do that and it's you know squeaky or it's, or it's a lot deeper so if you want to create a menace in voice you know you want uh, one going over on a horror film i would um you know change the speed to make it longer and um don't click any of these don't maintain audio pitch so just do that and okay anyway um other little features is there you know i'm just doing basic stuff you know i've used this quite a few times and i feel comfortable in it so it's kind of hard for me to tell you how to do it so um yeah you can have loads of audio tracks it's not just up to three you can have i don't know like 700 if you need same with the video um Right, I'll just uh, show you when you're at a bit of the audio or the video, in fact. Um, so you've got to click on it so you highlighted it, yeah. So then you use your, you know, your little mouse thing at uh, where it goes in the timeline, okay. So say you found this clip and you want it to um, go into go lower, go to quiet, basically, so it fades out in a way. What you would do is you would click this little button here on the audio at the left side and it says add remove keyframe. So you do that. So it's a little dot on your line, okay? Hopefully you can see this. Uh where that marker is right there, if you can see it, is the um the little dot. So go to this section that you want to fade out. Say so I'll do it there, okay, and then you click it again. Okay, so now it's two dots on your timeline. Um, what you would do is just simply just drag one of them to the bottom. As you can see, it's um, changing the decibel decibels of it. So now, as you can see, it goes straight, then it goes down at that point, and then it's quiet. So what you would do is you will have the sound playing, and then it will go quiet. So if you want it to come back again, all you simply do is do a dot at the second you want it to raise, and the other point you got to do two. And then you raise it up to that point again. So as you can see, starts, goes down, stays down, then goes up again, and then stays the same volume. That's if you want to, you know, um, kind of fade in and fade out of audio tracks. That might be in the same video, you know, or whatever. It's quite handy, especially in video. You can do this always at the end. I do at the